Hey guys, we got a Facebook question on the Ranit Facebook page about what type of registration marks to use for screen printing. So we're going to go over the different registration marks, actually show them on film, and then use a pre-registration template to align those to a screen. So first, let's go over the marks. Yeah, the first types of marks, uh, there's two different types of marks. There's registration marks, which are typically on the edges of your image, and there's crop marks, which are typically on the center and size of your image. We always recommend using crop marks, center crop marks, very, very important in the screen printing process. So whether this image was to go like that with center crop marks or like this, don't just use registration marks or side box registration marks. Now, the type of registration marks that you see here, they're very, very small. These are the Photoshop default registration marks that would print out of Photoshop if you were not using a rip. When you use a rip, it enhances the registration mark ability of the graphic artwork program. So, um, these are the standard registration marks, very small, very hard to see. You access these in software programs like CrailDraw, Illustrator, and Photoshop in the Print Preview menu by basically selecting Print Preview Options and or Print Output Options and select Registration Marks and then it allows you to select the different types. So not recommended if you're not using a RIP uh, to, make, to actually use the default registration marks. Now next we have here is Registration Marks in Photoshop using the advanced um, print settings using a RIP. So here's an example of the registration marks. So much better, much more detail. Not only do you have registration marks, better registration marks with uh, more density, obviously. Also, the, the black registration marks mean that we're using a RIP, which puts more ink down. You also have a wheel, which is very detailed. So not only tells you, you know, it, it can also tell you the type of detail that you're, you're exposing on your image, too. Now, whoever printed this film, did not make center crop marks. So they had to come in here and create manual center crop marks. Definitely not recommended. Always put center crop marks on your film. So those are the Photoshop default registration marks. Next, let's move on to CorelDRAW. Now CorelDRAW actually has, these are default registration marks using CorelDRAW. So right here, side, side registration mark. Once again, they didn't use Center marks, not good. Now, you see something else here. This is called a densometer. Always print this out because it tells you when you expose your screen the halftone retention. So right here we have 5% halftone dots, meaning that if we expose that, if our screen picks up those little dots, the little dots in this image area are also picked up. That's a good thing. If we don't have this, it's hard to tell what's exposed and what's not exposed. So another great thing to add to your film. So that's the default ones. Um, these are also defaults, but center crop marks within CorelDRAW. So this was also printed out of CorelDRAW, but here we have our center marks and side crop marks. And then we have a densometer over here as well. So these would be what I would use out of Corel if I was using a default setting. Now once again, very, very small. So if you're lining stuff up, it's not very easy to see those being printed. Out of Illustrator, you're going to see very similar ones to Corel and Photoshop. Now, this is what a lot of the main printers recommend, is actually creating your own registration marks. So these are crosshairs dropped into Corel. And using the registration mark color or the black color, the same color of the artwork, we actually laid these in the physical art file using the registration mark color that will print out on every single film. And if you can see, these are center marks. Good job, whoever printed this film. Plus, they're much bigger and easier to see. Now, I really think that all you need is center marks, especially for simple images like this. But when you get into more complex image, I guess it is nice to have those side marks as well. So let's see. Here's another example. This is an example created by Charlie Fassini, who is the creator of AccuRip. And this is an illustrator version of manual marks. Three on top, one on bottom. So you have both diagonal points of reference and center points on reference. And once again, nice and big. So these are manual. Uh, registration marks created in Illustrator using the registration color and this looks good. So what you guys can do is you can actually go into Illustrator, CorelDRAW and create registration mark templates that allow you to drop images in and then they'll always have the registration marks ready to go for you. Very simple to use that way. If you have any questions that you need answered, be sure and check out our Facebook page at facebook.ryanet.com. Who knows, maybe your question will be answered next in one of these videos. Also, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.ryanet.com. Thanks for watching.